Okay, so, hey everyone, I just got home from a competition, and this was a long competition, it was like until 9pm, and I didn't podium at anything, which is normal, but I came close in FMC, um, um, this was actually like, uh, probably one of my favorite competitions in terms of results, like, uh, it was a good one, this was a good Good competition. It was representative of the southern competitions. So, the biggest thing I wanted to point out is this thing. Like, I made a video, like, yesterday or two days ago about the Diane coded GANS SM. And, like, in my video, I did an average, and I usually average, like, mid 12. And in that average, I got, like, an 11 out of 25, and I got, like, bunches of 10s a handful of sub 10s and then I got a 7 and I was like there's no way that I can do this in competition but first round I PB'd in average which wasn't that good it was only like a 12 flat average and then second round I choked and I didn't do too good second round I DNF'd too because I messed up like a G perm which is stupid that was my fault and I was just messing up like first round I actually messed up a bunch of things and then last round, I messed up even worse. And when it was the last solve of finals, the very last solve, I was like, why am I going to be nervous? I'll just, like, turn as fast as possible, do my thing, and see what happens. So I did. I did that, and I wasn't even nervous because my, my average was wrecked beyond saving. It was completely wrecked at that point. I had a plus 2 and 215s, so and I was just like, that's the last solve of the day, I'm tired, whatever, let's just spam TPS and see what happens. And then I spammed TPS, full step, I used OLS, and I got an, a low 8, and I was like, oh my god, a low 8. And my judge, I forgot your name, but you watched my video apparently, and you knew that I started using OLS, like to supplement ZZCT, and you saw that in my solve, so like, whoever you are, Shouts out to you. And like, my, the cube was like, close to plus two. And like, the other two delegates had to get over there and look at it, because I'm like, obviously the third one, I don't want to judge my own. But like, god, getting single and average PB was really good. And a lot of people gave feedback on this cube. So, here's my plan, um, about this cube. Um, depending on if the boss says yes or no, I want to release this independently um, as a small batch. Obviously small batch because there's not that much old plastic dye in left. Um, I think I should have enough plastic for 50 cubes. I want to get 50 GANs SMs set up myself with yellow nuts and I really want to around Christmas like a month before Christmas or something maybe like the 1st of December or something like that, buy a bunch, a batch of SMs, and just make 50. Because that's all the plastic I have, and release it that way. Because the feedback at the competition was really positive. And at the end, I was like, you guys, what if I sold this? Would you be interested? And everyone was like, we like old Diane feeling. We love the SM. Um, they're willing to do it. So I know that four people would be okay with it. So, we'll see what happens. Um, but that's only if the bosses don't think that it would interfere with uh, whatever they're doing. We don't want to do anything bad or against the bosses. And if it comes down to it, um, obviously if the boss says no, it's not going to happen. So, no shadiness, no double dipping here. But I wanted... This is a cool product. This is really cool. And based on what everyone says about this cube and... Look at my results, like, low 8, and that 7, the consistency, like, everyone loves this cube, and the Diane feeling is nice, so I think I want to do what I can to make it happen. So I'll have to dump some capital myself, maybe set up mass drop or something, but we'll cross that bridge when we cross it. Um, but yeah, so today I will include... Um, like people's opinions, and I do include some caveats that I will list in 
the website because obviously I thought more people would have SNs and I thought more people would know what Diane feels like. So in all of these videos from people listening, uh, trust the people that have had the Diane um, because apparently no one had the SM. Trust the people who know the Diane feel. Um, that's what I would say. I'm not going to shill you. I'm not going to say buy this because I want to make sales. I'm saying this because the SM is a dang good cube. Like my results, oh my god, this cube changed me. Um, like, hell, I'll even say the opposite. Don't buy the SM. Watch everyone else buy the SM and get faster times and then buy the SM. But at the competition, people like this cube. I can't say enough good things about this SM. The Diane SM is, it's so good that I, I really, really, really have to get it out. So I uh, think, uh, one last thing, one last thing. So another thing that's been apparent to me at this competition is, holy crap, I think I blew up. Like, I don't look at my sub count. I just get on camera and do my thing. And I just do these things because I want to make better cubes because I like cubing. And like at this competition, people were like, oh my god, I want your picture. And I was like, oh, me? I guess, okay. I, I, but like, it's funny because I'm not that fast. Um, anyways, um, I say all that to say, thanks everyone for watching. Like, especially my judge. My judge really surprised me when they were like, oh yeah, I knew what you were doing in that last solve because I watched your video and that, that just struck me. I was like, I think I said that in like one minute of a, like a 30 minute video. For you to hear that, you would have had to listen through like the whole thing, even through the boring parts. And I like, I don't actually expect anyone to watch me solve. Really, like, who watches? It's, it's boring. So I'm really honored to have fans as weird as it sounds to me, but um, I hope you enjoy this Diane video. Maybe I'll add a little bit out so that's faster. So um, check out these opinions, and hopefully we can get this out by Christmas. So today we are at Cobb Cubes. There's a lot of people, well not that many people, and we're gonna get opinions on the GANS SM Diane Coded. Um, now keep in mind, there's a caveat here that many people haven't had the SM yet, and the SM is an inherently very smooth cube. Uh, the next thing is, maybe some people have tried Old Plastic Diane, so if we can find their opinions, uh, that'll be good. So, but for now, let's see what people think of the SM. So this is Katie. She's really fast. She's used an Old Plastic Diane 2x2 two two for years. Let's see if she can tell if this feels like an Old Diane or not. Let me ask him, huh? It definitely feels like an Old Diane. So like, how would you describe Old Diane plastic? Uh, very, very smooth. Um... Uh, no, just when we call you on your first team, make sure you know yeah. you just, just incredibly smooth. No. It's like you're the person who told me that Diane Plastic also had a scratchy batch. Uh -huh. Can you tell the difference? I can. This doesn't feel scratchy at all. Oh. Sick. Okay. Um. I would expect like a scratchy batch Diane to feel more like a regular one. Oh. I had no idea. Sick. And Katie, so annoying her. Wait, what did you place at Nationals? Uh, third in clock. He's like third place in clock, and he's really good. Not at 3x3, three three, but oh. we'll see. He's good at random events. Should I just take it? Yeah. So you know what Diane Plastic feels like? I mean... Kinda, I kind of did before, but this is this is nice. Like, not only is the feel good, but like it's uh, it's um, like it's a good cube overall. How would you describe that cube? Um, so this is originally a Valk, right? No, that's a GTS. Huh, well, it feels a lot like a Valk, I guess. Um, I can see this being a GTS. It's like snappy. It's um, it's fast, but it's still controllable. Yeah. You want to try the SM Diane coded? Now first, do you, does it feel like a Diane? Kinda, yeah, I can see that. So the hard part is no one actually knows what the SM feels like here. But 
Um, that's the caveat. That I felt the air before, so it's like, like the normal air. Oh, this one's way different. It has cat tinted and hexagon technology. Wait, you want to see my sea farms? No. But how would you describe that feeling? In that one it does kind of feel like a get. I think it feels more like a Diane than the TTS does. Um, Same. And yeah, I feel like it's just like like the fuel's all just really nice, and then. Um, the turning's pretty good too, but I'm not sure if that's just normal or I'm just used to bad cubes. Oh, sick. Thanks, Joa. Cool. Do you ever, do you own or have you tried an old plastic Diane? Uh, I have not. Okay, so you haven't tried the SM or the Diane. No. With that, how does this cube feel? It's like, it's really soft and light feeling, but it has like kind of a mild crunch. To me, like I can feel that like just in the background. Like it just, it just feels kind of like light. Like I know that's what the S, like the SM is supposed to feel like, but it, yeah. it has, feels like a softer plastic. Yeah. Like has, a, has anyone tried an old plastic diet? Have. You have? Yeah. Um, so, it feels actually remarkably similar to like an, an old plastic Sanchi. Yeah. Um, if you look at the feet, it's actually old plastic inside. Oh wow. That's Diane plastic. That's actually really cool. Um, um, I'm not, I, it just feels good. Like I don't know how to describe it. Wow, well, thanks. Who else is next? I'll be up. Okay, his arm was up first. And then you. You're, you're next after him. So, here. Um, have you tried Old Plastic Diane? I have. I've tried it. Oh, you have? So, would you or would you not say that this is similar? It, it feels like it's exactly, it's like the same. But it also has like a Gan feel to it. And it's, it's, I've never felt anything like it before. And Old Plastic Diane died for this cube. And I'm not sad about it. It was my only Old Plastic. But yeah. That's amazing. Thanks. That's crazy. And then you're next. And then uh, you're who's next. he's next. Yeah. Oh, I can feel this is like softer. Do you have you ever felt old plastic? No, but this feels like nice. Can we make all cubes like this? Um, uh, we only have enough to make like 30. Because old plastic is really hard to get. Um, if we melt down some mega minxes, we might be able to, but there are only so many old plastic Diane minxes left. So uh, we might do a limited run around Christmas, and uh, just for 30 lucky people. This is nice. Oh, oh he's next. Wait, have you tried it? Okay. Huh? Oh, okay. So, do you know what those cubes feel like? Um, what? Do you know what the uh, old pla Have you ever tried an old plastic guy yet? No. Oh, okay. So, how does this cube feel? Really smooth. Um, it's just smooth. Okay. It goes really well. I really like it. Sick thing. I don't know how to describe a cube. <laughs> I <laughs> no, like it. You're doing fine. Okay.